All right. What will happen with our uh, two other players here? They, uh, well, player two had a bit of a tough break on that daily double there near the end of the Jeopardy round, and player three had some ups and downs. But they can recover very quickly because we've got a lot more money available in Double Jeopardy as well as those two daily doubles. Let's get to that round right now, Let's shall we? Let's see what happens in Double Jeopardy with these categories awaiting the players. All right, here come the dollar figures, and here come the categories. Daniel Boone. Daniel Boone. Animal names. Animal names. Awards and Awards honors. Awards and honors. Three-letter words. Three-letter words. U.S. Museums. U.S. Museums. And finally, and playwrights. playwrights. All right, right, let's get back into this. Player three has His father, James O'Neill, was a 19th century actor whose most famous role was the Count of Monte Cristo. Let's hear it, player one. Uh, who is Eugene O'Neill? <laughs> yes. Player one, start us. Uh, let's go three other words for four. Your closest relatives are your next of this. Okay, player what one. What is kin? Yeah! Right you are. Three other words for 800. The name of this primate also means to mimic. It's player one. Uh, what is eight? Yeah. That's it. Three other words for 1,200. Player one, let's get Sarah's assistance on this clue. A natural break or pause in a line of poetry is called a seizura. The seize part comes from the Latin for this verb, as in excise. Here's the response we were looking for. Cut. It was cut. Layer one, back to you. Animal names for four. You'll get an A for effort for knowing the name of this mammal comes from Afrikaans for earth pig. Yes, player one. Uh, what is Ardvar? Good. <laughs> okay, let's go back Please to pick again, player 1600. one. A male given name. It's also the Latin word for king. Yes, player three. What is Taj? Sorry. Oh. No, that's incorrect. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? The correct response Latin word is, for king Rex. is Rex. Rex. Player one, pick again. Yes, Museum's 400. You can get customized Grigri bags at the historic Voodoo Museum on Dumain Street in this city. It's player one. What is New Orleans? Yeah. That is correct. Yes, Museum's 800. You again, as this society has a long history, Maps were the theme of a major 2007 exhibit at its museum, Explorers Hall. Here's the correct response. National, National Geographic. Geographic. Select again. You can ham it up at a museum in this Virginia town. It houses a ham cured in 1902. It's player one. It is Richmond? Oh, no. That's incorrect. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? We're talking about Smithfield. Oh, Smithfield. We return to right, you, player one. Found. The insightful E.B. White said, the time not to become a father is 18 years before one of these. The time not to become a father Here's the correct is response. 18 years war. before war. Layer 1, the US back to you. 16. The U.S. Space and Rocket Center in this Alabama city contains a vast collection of rockets and space memorabilia. Player one. Uh, what is Birmingham? Ooh. Oh no! Any other? Yeah, I'm not doing too good. Going the wrong.
wrong way here. Layer three. Okay, layer three. Vern? Nope. Oh. nope. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Player two. Was Huntsville. That's yeah. correct. Where do we begin, yeah. player two? The US Museum's 2000. An arm of the Simon Wiesenthal Center, the LA Museum of This, teaches about bigotry, racism, and the Holocaust. Here's the response we were looking for. Tolerance. Tolerance. So, you again, player two. Daniel Boone for 400. Tick Licker was Daniel Boone's nickname for this indispensable possession. Okay, player three. This knife. No. Oh. Any other takers? Player one. Is coonskin cap? Nope. Oh. No. Anyone else? I'm going the wrong way. Yes, player two. Rifle. Yes. <laughs> player two, you pick again, please. In 1778, Daniel Boone was taken captive and adopted by Chief Blackfish of this Indian tribe. Okay, player one. Uh, who are the Cherokee tribe? Oh. No. No! Oh, down to 4,800. Oh my god. Ugh. This is not going well. Not a string of responding incorrect. We're talking about the Shawnee. The Shawnee tribe. Ugh. You get to pick again, player two. Daniel Boone, 1200. Cleared under Daniel Boone's direction in 1775, the Wilderness Road passed through this famous gap. Okay, player one. Where's the Cumberland Gap? Wow. Wow. Finally! A lot of clues, Family's a lot of... Its name comes from Greek words, meaning nose-horned. We're talking about rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. Player one, back to you for our next subject. All right, here with the clue is Sarah. This large, partly white seabird derives its name in part from the Latin word for white. Okay, player one. Well, Liz Albatross. That's Woo! right, way to go. Player one, no, pick again. Two. The name of this red-haired denizen of Borneo's rainforest is melee for forest man. Yes, player two. Is baboon? No. Oh. Incorrect. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Let's hear it, player one. Uh, what is the orangutan? Yeah. Right you are. That's what we needed. You again, Thousand player one. Noted for its strength, this breed of horse was named for a school teacher. We're talking about Morgan. Morgan. Player one. Pick again. In his poem, Don Juan, this Englishman wrote seven stanzas about Daniel Boone and his virile exploits. We're talking about Lord Byron. Lord Byron. We return to you, player one. James Fenimore Cooper based this last of the Mohicans character on Daniel Boone. It's player one. Who's Nanny Bumpo? Good. There we go. Finally into the five figures now. You get to pick again, player one. Awards and honors for 400. People, people who need Peabody's envy her for the Peabody Award she won for her 1994 HBO concert. Player one? Uh, who's Aretha Franklin? Oh. No, that's wrong. 
Any other takers? The correct response is Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand. You again, Lyrics player one. Hundred. Public disgust over his play Ghosts caused this Norwegian to retaliate in his An Enemy of the People. We're talking about Henrik Ibsen. Henrik Ibsen. 1200. Layer one. This Pulitzer Prize winning playwright was related to John Sevier, the first governor of the volunteer state. Okay, player one. Who is Tennessee Williams? Whoa! I kind of wish that that one had been a daily double. Oh well. Please pick Awards again, player one. This actor dedicated his American Beauty Oscar to his friend Jack Lemon, who had inspired him. The correct response is Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey. You again, Board player one. The answer there is a daily double. Yeah. Yeah. One of the daily doubles. You are in first place. Will it uh, be? Just 1,400. All right, up to 13,000. Here right is your clue. daily double clue. For the musical Sunset Boulevard, Hugh Jackman won two Mo Awards equivalent to the Tonys, in this, his native country. Uh, what is Scotland? However, you oh, keep your lead. No. Here's the correct response. Australia. Australia. Good thing I didn't risk a lot. You get to Player pick again, system. player one. The answer there is the other daily double. The, answer, the other daily I double. I found them back to back. The lead now. Please enter your wager. 1800. Here right, is your clue. This Shakespeare contemporary is remembered for Dr. Faustus and for getting stabbed to death. Uh, who is Christopher Marlowe? You have made there it. There we go. Way to go. Layer one. Back to you. The JFK Profile in Courage Award is modeled after a lantern from this frigate built in 1790s Boston. Here's the correct response. The Constitution. Constitution. Player one, back to you. For the the Washington, D.C.'s theater awards are named for this first lady of the American theater. We're talking about Helen Hayes. Helen Hayes. And All right, now our last clue, clue for $2,000. The 1934 New York City taxi driver's strike led him to write Waiting for Lefty, the first of his plays to be produced. Yes, player one. Who's Clifford Odette? Good. That is right. That takes me to 14000 That takes us to Only the end of Double Jeopardy. And player three, he had a bit of a tough go at it, unfortunately. You finished up at minus 3,800, which means you finish in third place automatically. Oh, All right. Final Jeopardy. Two players Sorry, left for three. Final Jeopardy, and the category is... We're back. The category for Final Jeopardy today is... World Word History. Word history. So, what's your wager? Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to bet it all. All right, here's our final Jeopardy answer. This term for a deadly substance may derive from the name of a love goddess. Uh, what is venom? Player two, we're going to check your response first. You said what is virus, and that is incorrect. You list all 400. You Let's did everything your you could. 
I said with his venom. Is that correct? And that is right. You will gain. And I double my score to 28,000, but we're going to add 2,500 to that. Uh, to that make the final total 30,500. We'll see you all next time. And that's going to do it for this segment. We'll see you all for the next one.